Right, so uh, one of the final updates really. Um, pump is running, you might be able to hear it going. Originally I opted for that style of pump, but after taking the car out for a test drive, um, I came back and there was hardly any flow. Well, when I say hardly any, there pretty much was none. So the uh, the charge cooler system has been bleeding with the pumps been running for a while. And as you can see, I'm still getting some bubbles or cavitation, I suppose you could say, where the bubbles are getting chopped up by the um, the pump. Uh, I've taken the car out once so far, and the testing was not good. Um, Basically, inlet temperatures as soon as I got up to say eight and a half thousand RPM, the charge cooler temperatures were up to 50 Celsius and climbing. So, um, I'm not sure this is going to cut the mustard, especially when you think ambient temperature days probably at most 18 19 degrees. You could argue that possibly it wasn't bled well enough. Um, or that it could be a pump issue. I'm not 100% sure. I think the pump is more than capable of pumping it around. It's rated to 2,000 litres per hour. Uh, so I'm a bit stumped. The only the thing that's in my mind is that this barrel is uh, is not good enough. Um, so that sort of means going back to the drawing board a bit uh, and. Every, obviously the charge cooler heat exchange and everything else is perfect uh, there's not an issue with that it's probably just here that I'm not taking enough heat out of the air um, when when I've pulled up after giving it a blast the charge cooler tank itself is quite cold uh, and the coolant temperature is quite cold so it's not like the the fluid is getting heat soaked so I think it's more a case of the air is struggling to release the heat into the water so whatever's inside here is not particularly good I mean don't quote me on that 100% because like I said I only tested it once and I didn't really bleed it 100% thoroughly um, so yeah I have to reevaluate what I'm going to do really um, I'm not going to go back to the intercooler route because I think this system will work it's just a case of getting everything working in harmony um, after speaking to a person on the internet they recommended well I actually googled it um, S2000 and heat exchange and they had one that the outlet was the inlet was there and then the outlet was here um, and I've sort of measured it up and think that's going to be a bit tight but it probably actually will work um, so I'm probably going to give that a go if I'm honest because it's, it's worth a try uh, the, the cooler the cores aren't particularly expensive about a hundred pounds so I mean most of the barrel and that that I've already got I can sell on that's not a problem and I've got other bits to sell um, so yeah I'm gonna give that a go because it's pretty much plug and play for my um, system all I'll have to do is just move some of the pipe work down there and obviously I can do away with this elbow uh, yeah so hopefully I'll do a bit more testing over the next week and maybe I can iron out all these problems but at the moment it's not looking like it's gonna give me the performance I wanted which is quite disappointing but you never get anything perfect first time round so we'll uh, we'll have to just go from there um, if I just show I'll put this bleed screw up here for getting any air out which does seem to work quite well I've made sure all the air is out of the tank down there the heat exchange so like I said I don't think it's a coolant issue I think it's more a charge the charge cooler barrel not being able to remove the heat from the air whereas a larger one will probably do that a lot more efficiently and there's, there's pretty good reviews of those larger type of heat exchangers compared to the barrel ones. The barrel ones seem to be a bit hit and miss, even the 
more expensive brands haven't really got much feedback on them. So yeah, I'll get back to the drawing board and uh, see what I can knock up. All right, so with the last video, um, basically the charge cooler installed been finished and now you'll probably see that things are a bit different. Uh, yeah, so basically what I found during testing is that uh, the charge cooler is just not able to get rid of the heat in the inlet charge. So for example, compared to the front mount intercooler, when it comes on boost, all the way up to 11 PSI with the front mount, might get up to about 38 degrees without the meth on on a day where it's say 20 degrees ambient with the charge cooler it was going up to 50 and then when you change gear go up to 50 again so it was not not cooling as uh, as well as the front mount so all I could all, in my opinion all that could be doing that is the fact that the barrel is not working well enough so I had a look online and there's a company called Frozen Boost and they sell um, basically cheap Chinese um, charge coolers but with a markup but on their website they're silly enough to put the dimensions so if you go on say well, where I've got this one from AliExpress uh, you can find this charge cooler which is identical to the Frozen Boost one but this is $60 I think compared to the Frozen Boost one which was 160 and this particular model is rated to um, 600 horsepower so hopefully it should be better for me because the other one was rated to 400 um, as you can see it's got the inlet there and that is um, M18 thread so what I've done is run a half inch BSP tap through that which went through fine and tap the that one there the top one you can see and then tap the water feed below as well I've got a bleed valve there and then I've got my funnel on the filling point so what I do is I just prime the pump if I've got the keys there we go That's the pump primed. And the water's flowing through this. It's hard to see, but it is flowing through. Also changed the pump, because I figured it might be the pump that was the issue. Uh, but that's made no difference at all. So I don't think the pump is the problem. I think it's the actual barrel itself. So this is now all being bled um, and is effectively ready got some mounting holes and you see just down there and then the same on the other side so I'll be able to hopefully get a bracket that runs from here down to this bracket here just to support it take a bit of weight off the hose but I'm not going to fabricate that until I've actually tested it because otherwise I'm, I'm wasting my time really so yeah that's what my solution's been I think from AliExpress with postage one week postage um, this was a hundred pound it's pretty decent really uh, for an experiment I don't mind shelling out a hundred quid because I know I'll probably get it back uh, it had the same half uh, three, sorry, three inch inlets and outlets that um, the barrel used so yeah um, I'm quite impressed with it so far it seems quite rugged and the main thing I noticed is the weight of it it's probably double the weight of the um, barrel which suggests to me it's got a lot more um, aluminium in it internally and to the layman so to speak I'd imagine it's probably better at conducting heat than the old one but we'll see um, it's raining outside at the moment so I'm not going to get a chance to test it but uh, apart from adding antifreeze to this this is all done um, hopefully when I test it it will be fine my other option is to run an after cooler that's got its inlet there and outlet here which will be a lot lot bigger it's rated to 1200 horsepower but it means changing some of the pipe work over here to turn in earlier 
and it'll be a bit of a tight squeeze so I'd rather keep this but um, I'll give it some testing and I'll find out but I'll be the first to admit if it doesn't work the barrel didn't work I don't think it will work on most applications just because it's all well and good it, it having low pressure loss and being easy to fit but if it's not cooling down the air then it's a bit pointless so um, I'll give you an update video when I've done some more testing and show you some before and after graphs with the old charge cooler and this one in terms of temperatures and then you can get an idea about what works best thanks for watching make sure you subscribe